Yo, what's up? Welcome back to Alpha Central, I'm your host Jack, and today we're taking a look at when women get rejected and men stop simping. But let's dive right in, right after you subscribe, of course. Disclaimer, this video was made for strictly comedic slash artistic purposes. No offense is intended towards any individual featured in this video. Oh, that's a big... Eh? Damn! What's your name? Peekaboo. Peekaboo. My name's McQueen. Nice to meet you. You too. Where are you from? I'm from Dallas. Dallas? Okay, that's dope. Why are you standing like you just... Cuz... What do you like to do? Um, I'm a bartender. You're a bartender? Yeah. Okay. That's dope. How long you been doing yeah, that? I'm a full-time dog mom. You're a full-time what? Dog mom, too. Dog, uh, what? Dog mom. Z Zog bomb? <laughs> dog mom. Dog mom. Dog mom. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So if me and you were, you know, saying about to get into me, would that in the way? She. She? I don't give a <laughs> Whoever. She might, give... but I'll put her to the side. Nah, that, I, can't, I can't do that. You gotta go to the left. Maybe if she wasn't so awkward, he'd be interested. What would you do if I kissed you? Um, I'm okay, thank you. I, I didn't ask. Like if, I was just saying, what would you do? Uh, if I gave you a kiss? I'd keep walking. If I gave you a kiss, so I'm here. No, oh, no, no, I was giving you a kiss. Thank you so much. Yeah, you, thanks, you too. Bro was absolutely unfazed by her. Gotta love the way he stays strong and doesn't fall for her games. There's women that really just don't care about money at all. <laughs> Bro was so stunned she said that all he could do is laugh. I have some more analogies here when it comes to, well, you used to have a bunch of casual but now you found a guy you like, you wanna have a relationship with him. So now uh, you're gonna make him wait. You go to McDonald's, right? Okay, there's three people in front of you. They all get a cheeseburger for two or three dollars, whatever. You finally get to the cashier and they say, that'll be a thousand for you because I like you the most. Those other customers were just a mistake or I was just having fun. I get a thousand dollar burger when everybody else got the regular price. Mm -hmm. Wait, why would he do that? <laughs> That's a good question. That's a good question. Damn, even the women were shocked by his comparison, because he's speaking straight facts. Look what I got you. Wait, are you kidding me? <laughs> Why are you doing this? Give me them! Lou! Morgan, don't fight it, don't fight it, don't fight it, don't fight it. I want chips. Okay, 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 okay. Look, are you serious? Why are you doing this all day? <laughs> Bro was ready to risk it all with this prank. Luckily, she wasn't too pressed about it, though. I'm trying to ultimately get to, you to understand, ma'am, is you won. There are women in the chat room who would, who would cut your to have what you have. And you're talking about it as if I'm not happy. You are okay. fortunate. And I'm trying to be as delicate as I can, but you sound very entitled you are lucky okay but you know what here's what you do you go down if you want to check go down to the family go down to your local family court and you sit in the gallery and you listen to the people who the the the, the men and women argue over the kids and over visitation. You go in there and listen to all the trouble and drama that happens when the family is split up and two people are trying to co-parent. You go go down the family, because what it sounds to me is you don't know how good you got it. She will never see the value of her man because she's blind to anyone but herself. If I look at a girl's Instagram, I look at two things. Can I show my mom this girl's Instagram without scrolling, without having to hide stuff? Can I show her that Instagram? And then two, would I want my daughter to be like this girl? If I, if it's a no to either one of those, I'm cool. This might seem like a weird way to go about things, but it's a good way to test if someone's worth keeping around. I think that guys should take advice how they want it. If a man wants to change, he's going to change, but he's going to only change for the right girl the answer is no and anyone who thinks otherwise can try for themselves i'm having a hot girl summer what does it mean when a woman says that she's home <laughs> i'm a born again virgin that's <laughs> the past doesn't matter i'm ready to be serious now she's a whole <laughs> <laughs> I like this job. The next one is boundaries are toxic in a relationship. Why should I like she say it around? <laughs> but I don't want you to find out. I'm celibate now. What does that mean? She's all <laughs> Dang, this dude can spot the red flags from a mile away, and he isn't afraid to let the world know. 
What's your thoughts about Short Kings? Short Kings be having the biggest ego. I swear they have like one shot with like a like a tall big and they're like, ah, I can get any fucking buddy. No, the fuck can't. Like, you got fucking lucky. That's the point. Meow. What a f Am I right? <laughs> That's the point. Well, hey, and you can't get lucky every time. I'm like, I know the shoes be showing on taller, but like we low key the same height. Shut the f up. <laughs> Shut the f up. <laughs> y'all don't got it like that. And y'all have the fake lips. <laughs> Want to talk about ego? Listen to this girl for an hour. Um, do you drink liquor? Nah. Okay, so do you do drink? Nah. So you just a born? Yeah. Me too. Keep on thinking that, lady. See where it gets you. You always tell me to ask you sensible questions. Yes, and ask me sensible questions. And this is a sensible question. What should this And it's not coming from me. So if it's not sensible, it's not coming from me. It's coming from a follower. Okay? No, I don't agree. So they basically want to know, what do you prefer? Banku or... Banku or... Yeah, what do you prefer? Of course Bank I want Banku. You prefer Banku over Sam? Yeah. Why? The last time I checked him and someone, a friend of mine, Banku never fails. So they died from They died completely from so They didn't just die. They actually died completely from <laughs> When you eat Banku, you'll be made whole. You know what I mean? Like, you'll be made whole. <laughs> Banku is a healer. I told you the other day that Banku can kill fever and malaria. You didn't know? So, but sex is dangerous. Sex is not dangerous. Sex is good when you are satisfied. Why should I have sex when I'm hungry? Hey, every man needs to eat. Nothing wrong with that answer. If you are trapped in pathological relationships and you see no way out of them, if, you, if someone who is sinking has their hands around your neck and is pulling you down, you're not obligated to drown with them. You know, there's a rule too if you're a lifeguard. You know, some of you have had lifeguard training. How do you approach someone who's drowning and panicking in the water? Feet out, right, like this. It's like, I'll save you, but that doesn't mean you get to drown me while I'm doing it. And if it's you drown or both of us drown, it's you drown. And that's wisdom. That's not cruelty. Nobody is forced to stay with their partner, at least in most circumstances. If you're not happy, leave. You can make up for it as a, as a girl. They can make up for it by being uh, pleasant. That's true. That's true. There, there is ways you can make up for it. Why, why are you laughing about or that? Or quote unquote wifey material. Yeah. For like long term monogamous commitment, like, yeah, I think we'll sacrifice a couple points and looks if she's like a really like so mellow, nice. cool girl who brings us peace and isn't a headache. Yep. Yeah, so is so, that your preference of a woman? What? Just a woman who doesn't quarrel? Plus, who's not a yeah, that's headache. Headache. in the Bible. Mm -hmm. yes. Sleep on the roof mm -hmm. and be with a Proverbs twenty one nineteen. Uh, better to was it? Man, yeah, he's been reading. <laughs> be better to live in the desert than with a quarrelsome and nagging wife. Sometimes it's better to be in the dry desert than in a rainforest of emotion. Women were socially constructed to believe that if she's making the bag, she's independent. But when a man is making the bag, he never calls himself independent. Because when a man makes a bag, he thinks about in his mind, I'm making over 100K, I can get a girl that's gonna fuck a year, and you're making $100,000 a year. It's not gonna happen. The only way it happens is if you instill God into the picture. Because this is how it works. We all have our nature. A woman's nature is hypergamy. She looks for a man that's doing better than her. Something has to restrict that nature. A man's nature is polygamy, really. He want quantity, he want a lot of girls. Something has to restrict that nature. And I'm saying that the only thing that can restrict that nature is God. Then it's like, okay, I'm looking at him not only for what he could do for me, I'm looking at his true inside and I'm loving him for him. But we already know that women don't love a man for them. They love a Use their love based off how much a man makes and it's really impacting men overall. You want a strong seven, 10. Fine as all get out, tat out, body looking fine every 10. So half of them acting that way. Here's where the strong seven comes in. Why she can compete with an eight, but her mentality is not that of an eight. So she's more appreciative of you wanting her. As a result, she shows an elevated appreciation for you wanting her. Therefore, she treats you like she wants you. On seven, that's somebody who is an eight, but don't act like one.
That's what makes us special. Those are the ones that are married. Others, long engagements, quick marriages and divorces, or just perpetual singlehood. She may be a 10 out of 10 looks wise, but that certainly doesn't mean she's a 10 out of 10 personality wise. Do you think men or women have it harder in dating? Women, for sure. Why? For example, you spend five minutes getting ready for a date, I spend an hour, or it looks like I didn't try, and it's just way too much effort to invest. <laughs> men aren't worth that, no offense. But don't women enjoy putting makeup on? No, I don't. I sweat it all off today. It was terrible. Why do women wear makeup? Because men have created the illusion and the, I guess, need for women to, for, in society. This is terrible. I'm not even drunk. This is terrible. This is awful. I'm, just, I'm no, terrible. I'm just, letting, I'm just letting your thoughts come out. I like this. I think y'all should interview them. All right, great. That was fun. Bye. You can tell she was already thinking about that one before she got interviewed, only to not make any sense. Wearing like a see-through, are you gonna tell her something? 100%. Like, what are you gonna I tell her? She won't even make it out here before that, you know? Not in a disrespectful way, but because if she even wants to wear that, I feel like that's already disrespect, you know? What if she says, I just want to dis display my beautiness? For what, other people? You know, if she considers me her man, then why would you want to impress anybody else? And she goes, oh, it's for the girls. But really, is it really? You're just for what? Only people that look at you as are guys, majority. So it's like, I think it boils down to respect. So if she's wearing that, she doesn't respect you, even if she wants to wear that. So I think, you know, that's just how it is. It's not wrong to voice your opinion about what she's wearing. And if she has a problem with what you're saying, that's all on her, not you. Two, one, three. Um, hello, excuse me. Sorry for yeah, Yo, it's good. Yeah, um, it's good. Sorry, I've been like. I've been really interested in you for a while now. And I'm like, you know what, just okay, we live once and I just wanna to get to know you. I don't you might not, you know, be interested in me or I'm not your type, but I just really wanted to say hello to you or just talk to you, just you know, to just get this feeling over with. What the frick? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, but like, I've got a girlfriend still. Like, <laughs> like honestly, the, like, the energy you came with, you, you were so uncomfortable, you made me uncomfortable, and I don't get uncomfortable. Well, I was so nervous because I'm so scared because, like, you know, I've been really ha having a crush on you for like forever. So. Honestly, I've been in this situation before. Okay. Girls will come up to me like this, or even on messages. Yeah. I will slam your cheeks, but we won't be nine, honestly. God damn. Yeah. Time, time, time. Zende, Zende. Well, I think it's safe to say that these girls do not have any game whatsoever. Without a strong father or a drunk father, will always have a weak taste in men, or when she experiences a good man, she will screw him over. One of the things you need to find out, check out somehow, some way, very early on what her relationship with her father is like. Uh, like on a first date, like a coffee date, you might say, so, so, what was, so what was it like growing up in your house? What's it like to grow up like Mary? So what did Mary grow up like? What did Sally grow up like? What was it like in your house when you were growing up? And then just shut up and let her talk. Time and time again, every time I've ever dated a woman who had a father or an alcoholic father, the relationship sucked and it ended abruptly. This is actually a very good way to figure out a woman. Ask her about her father, but don't do it too soon. 2024, I need all men to leave women where they meet them at. If you meet her in the streets, leave her in the streets. And when I say the streets, I mean clubs, bars, parties, yachts, the homegirl on a two-man mission, spring break, Memorial weekend, Essence Festival. Women who you meet at these places, the women who go to these places, are not looking for relationships. They looking for ducks and f Say it with me. Ducks and f And you need to treat them as such. They at a point in their lives where they want to run the streets. And that's okay. But don't set yourself up for failure trying to change that. You guys will meet a woman in a club, wife her up, and then nine months later, get mad at her because she want to go out to a club and get drunk. What the f do you expect? In 2024, don't be that guy. Don't be the duck. Don't be the sucker 
trying to put lipstick on a pig because it's going to resent you for trying to treat it like a woman. To sum things up, if you find her in the streets, leave her in the streets. A mask. Oh, thank you very much. It, it honestly would look like probably better off. Would you want a kiss? Uh, no, thank you. I'm good. I, I'm heading to class. So. Okay. I yeah, mean, you, you could just save it for later then. Like. Oh, I. God, you're, you're such a stinker. I thought you meant a little one. <laughs> you think I'm stinky? No, no. no I, nah. I okay. I'm just joking around with you. But oh, thanks, got thanks it. Thanks for the gift, though. Yeah, of course. She tried. She failed. She looks like a fool now. Rejecting me? What I'm saying is, I would rather get to know someone first. So you want to be friends? <laughs> huh? You trying to be friends? No, listen. No, no, no. I, I'm just not. I, I don't. I'm not interested. Okay. You know what I'm saying? But I, I, congratulations on being a virgin, though. I support that. Me? I don't know her. Why is she still pressing him like that? He stated what he feels and she shouldn't pressure him like that. I'm only playing for what's on the check. I'm not splitting the bill, Shawty. What's on the bill? That's crazy. You expect us to split My the bill? What's on the bill? You got lamb chop. You got steak. You got some money. Look at all that. Look at what all they got. They talking about splitting the bill. Oh, no wonder they want to split it. They ain't got the money for it. Oh, we come together and split right, the bill. Oh, yeah. Says the person that ordered the olive. My thing is, y'all doing too much. Y'all doing way it. too much. We didn't order all that. Going on. Okay, so obviously there was no discussion if they went out to eat that the bill would be split down the middle. Because if it was, I don't think that man would have went. They ordered up all that food and then decided at the end when the bill came, oh, we're going to split this down the middle. Y'all only decided that because y'all knew y'all couldn't afford it. You seen them prices on that menu when you was ordering out for all that stuff, but you thought you was slick. I wouldn't pay for it either. People be always trying to get over on people and count other people's pockets. Baby, you should have been counting your own pockets because you knew your pockets couldn't afford that. So if I was him, I'd tell that waitress, come over here, I'm going to pay you, and I'm going to leave about this restaurant. If not, get your manager. I'm not paying for her or her or her or whoever else. They need to pay for their or they need to go wash some damn dishes. If your meal costs $12 and their meal costs $100, then you should pay for your meal and leave. It should be common courtesy to respect each other and not order everything on the menu expecting the other person to pay. Anyways, let me know what you think in the comments below. You guys have made it to the end. Like and subscribe to prove you're an alpha. And remember, according to YouTube, the best way to help the channel the algorithm is to watch another one of my videos right after this video. So if you like this video, you might as well watch another one. Till next time.